Hey guys, Marsningen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and today we are going to be showing off a unit that I think deserves a bit more attention now that the Vegeta family category is out. So we are showcasing, as I'm sure you can tell from the thumbnail and the name of the video, the Intelligence Super Vegeta that dropped at the same time as the Physical Transforming Vegeta. Basically when he came out he was a really, really good link partner for the Transforming Vegeta, but there are obviously a lot of very strong Vegeta units in the game. So he kind of, when it came down to things like Pure Saiyans, there were a lot of better choices than him. Um, and so I feel like he's a unit that a lot of people just kind of, you always have a better option, um, especially because Pure Saiyans had that across the board 150 leader skill. Um, but now that we have the Vegeta family, we have some really good um, units for them to link up with. Let me bring up his overlay while we quickly go through this turn. So, new power from training Super Vegeta. His leader skill, int types keep us 3 HP, attack and defense 90%. Not particularly important, probably not going to use him as a leader, but it's not a bad leader skill, so it can do well as a sub lead in Battlefield. His super attack is a spirit break cannon, ra greatly raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage to the enemy. So then his passive, this is what makes him so good now that he is on a team with a much higher leader skill. So he gives himself a flat boost of attack and defense, 80% guaranteed. And then he gets an attack raise of up to 120%. The more HP remaining, the greater the boost. So if you have him in your first rotation, or you basically take no damage in your first turn, at 100% HP, he's going to have a 200% attack and defense boost. Which is crazy. There's like no Dokkan Fest units that have a boost that high. So obviously it can be situational. Like if, we, if you take a whole ton of damage. Then you're not going to get that full boost. And then he won't be as good. But even at a minimum. Like half health 60%. That's a total of 140 to attack and defense. Which is still very good. Uh, his link skills are Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Prodigy, Saiyan Pride, Golden Warrior, Prepared for Battle and Fierce Battle. So lots of link partners on this team. Um, we're going to link him up with the Transforming Vegeta uh, because they have Super Saiyan, Prodigies and Saiyan Pride which are their biggest attack links. Um, and then of course he's on Pure Saiyans, Full Power Vegeta Family and Super Saiyan which we obviously don't have on Global yet. So... Let us jump in here. I'm going to put him in the first slot. Oh, I didn't read out, in fact. Well, we're, we'll start the turn. But the second part of his passive, and the reason why I'm doing the uh, Ranger 17 event, is he gets a guaranteed critical hit against an Android's category enemy. So I wanted to show off how well he can do against an Android enemy, especially because the final stage is physical, where we'll have type disadvantage. And I'm going to heal up the turn before, so we can go into that turn with as much health as possible and see how well he can defend with his full passive and there you go we get a guaranteed crit so 2 million damage and bear in mind mine is 90% so that extra 10% doesn't make a huge difference with just the bottom left left to go that's a more defensive part of the hidden potential system anyway but uh, there we go but yeah so 90% for him is pretty close to uh what he would perform rainbow so he definitely is a very good pick for this vegeta family team he's also a very good link partner for another unit that we're going to be showcasing later i'm actually quite interested to see how that one goes so i wanted to get the showcase for him out of the way first uh, he's actually really good on the goku jr eza as well because despite being in and so not having type advantage Especially if you get him in that first rotation, his passive boosts his um, stats so high that even on the high stage that I'm on, I think I'm on stage like 105 of the Goku Jr. EZA, and he still takes no damage and hits reasonably hard as well, despite not being a physical type. So, um, I'm going to do... Yeah, let's do this. I guess we do want to keep them together because that's a huge boost because of the uh, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Pride, Fierce Battle, so... Let's do this, and then give you this. Vegeta probably will take him out here considering the guaranteed crit. So we take no damage, and then yeah, 2 million attack stat. So that is very good. And that is without, of course, our full passive. 2.6 mil on a crit. Whew. So yeah, what was our health? 
Yeah, so I have was 90%, so almost full, to be fair. But... Uh, let's see. I think everyone on this rotation has uh, Key Blast Super Attacks, but that's okay, because our boy that we're showcasing doesn't, so... Let's just get normal attacks with these guys where we can. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta are obviously going to defend well enough despite not having uh, done his 18 key super. God Vegeta unfortunately couldn't avoid a super attack with him but he tanks well as well. Everyone on this team is so good defensively but and we've got our perfect link partner now transformed into Super Saiyan 2 and all of, all of these crazy links going off so right let's give you that. I guess we don't really need to worry about the rest of the key because uh... oh, actually I was going to say yeah yeah it doesn't even matter if we get key blast supers because Vegeta should finish it here so this is with his best link partner but no actual support unit on the rotation and yeah we're still at 1.97 so if we were on full health we would definitely have broken that 2 mil we were only slightly below and then yeah guaranteed crit means another huge amount of damage oh of course his so he, all of his super attacks are different, so I really like the animation for that one, but anyway, that was a non-key blast super as well. So, I guess I probably should have bought a Ghost Usher, because we are going to take some damage this turn, especially if Buller doesn't dodge. So, I guess we won't be going into the next turn with full HP, but... I'm going to heal anyway. It's not like I'm always at max Sensi Beans or anything. So this will make sure we're at full health. Maybe if we get lucky and Bulla triggers both of her built-in dodges, then both of the others should only take double digits unless we get super attacked. So Okay, going well so far. <laughs> God Vegeta up to 1.4. My God Vegeta only has one dupe. So he is, uh, he is a unit that can become very impressive defensively once he's got a couple of dupes put into him. So, And of course he gets super attacked. Is he going to guard? Actually no, he's uh, physical isn't he now so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, see 36k. <laughs> That's not even 10% of our health though. That's still pretty good. But So yeah, we're not quite going to have our full passive because obviously it is calculated at the start of the turn. So I can't just heal at the start of the turn. And then God Vegeta. So we lose out on some key here, but we've got support on the rotation. So we are going to be fine either way. They still have Prodigies and Super Saiyan Fierce Battle. Let's see. So it's on 239. I'm, I'm like 99% certain it doesn't do this. Yeah, it calculates it at the start of the turn. Otherwise it would have gone up. So either way, we're going to get a guaranteed crit. We can't avoid a super with you, so it looks like we are going to be finishing it here, but this is kind of what I wanted to see. I wanted to see how well he'll defend. We had like 90% of our passive active, so yeah, double digits against type disadvantage. Unfortunately, only able to get 1.8 because of the lack of uh, the full passive, plus I believe God Vegeta loses Saiyan Pride. So one less link, but still very impressive showing, very good defensively, very good offensively. Um, obviously there's not a lot of high difficulty events with Android type enemies, but he's very useful in the current uh, battlefield against Android 19. And of course, Super Battle Road, especially on the old mono stages, if you get Cell and the Cell Juniors as your final battle, then he will be incredibly useful there. So. But yeah, so that is going to be it for the showcase, guys. That is the Int Super Vegeta. Like I said, I think he is a very good card that was overlooked a little bit because on Pure Saiyans and Full Power, there's just so much variety of units that probably are slightly better because you definitely do need to get him linked up with a decent Vegeta unit that has Super Saiyan Prodigies and Saiyan Pride, which having a look through the wiki to find his best link partner, there's not that many that are commonly used obviously outside of the physical transforming Vegeta and as we saw there in a slightly longer event he does lose some of the links so very powerful unit definitely worth investing in if you've pulled dupes let me know how many copies of him you have pulled if you have them at all and also let me know if there are any other hidden gems you think might be lurking on the Vegeta or Goku family team and I will try and get videos done for those as well so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the Master Ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new you can follow my Twitch channel or join my Discord the links are in the description below and I will see you all again soon have a good one